Hey everyone, <laughs> Jacob told you art sculptor here. I have a home. Yes, I have a home. I'm very happy to say I'm in my new apartment. It is so nice. Oh, I love it. And I'm definitely going to be doing a tour, but not, not tonight because it's all a mess right now. Of course, I just moved in and it's like lots of junk in here. Just piled up. Boy, what an experience that was. This uh, management company uh, that owns the building uh, that I was in, they were relocating us and they really did an awful job of it. And um, when, the, when the building was emptying, all the mice, we had a lot of mice in the building, all the mice went to the few apartments that remained. And mine was actually the last uh, apartment. And all the mice, they're hungry, man. You know, they had all these people that were dropping crumbs for years, you know. Um, and they're all gone. And they know where the food comes from, right? So they were going crazy. And they were crawling all over me and stuff at night. It was awful, man. It was awful. I didn't talk about that in the last video. I just, I don't know. I was so upset. I just forgot. But, oh, God, it was so bad, man. And uh, I, I did take pictures and made videos of it. But I wasn't thinking right. And uh, wasn't, you know, I was recording this stuff on my phone. And anyways, I didn't save the videos. I deleted them. And you know, stuff, because uh, the card filled up, and I needed the, you know, I needed the space, anyways, whatever, but uh, I do have some pictures, it's just awful, I'm not going to share them here, but just, you know, mice uh, on my bed and stuff, and that sort of thing, just awful, anyways, it was a horrible experience, it definitely was homelessness, so, uh, you know, I had to go and stay in a hotel, I didn't have my stuff with me, I did a number of sculptures that all... Um, were ruined because I couldn't bake them, you know? Um, that was terrible. This is the only piece that survived. That I, it was the only piece I did in uh, Marblux, which is air dry or self-hardening clay. And uh, it's the only, the only piece that survived. I wish I had done more in this clay. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know why. I was just kind of into doing the dragon tongue glass thing that I was doing. Can't even show them to you. I don't have any of them. They all fell apart. I didn't want to make this a really sad video, but I, I do want to tell you that it was some terrible stuff to have to go through. But you know what? I am an incredibly resilient person. I really am. And uh, I, I, I just bounce right back. I'm really fine. Tonight, I want to show you something. I did this palette knife painting for a tutorial. It's a short. <laughs> I think it's like 53 seconds long. Okay, it shows you how to paint with a palette knife. This is still wet. The painting is still wet. <laughs> it was just, I just painted it like... Like, <laughs> I don't know, 20 minutes ago? Look, I got paint on the little guy. Because it was paint, it wet paint, it was sitting on the table. Now, um, I have an agenda here, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, okay. So I have a consultant for the channel. His name for you YouTubers out there that are watching me and you have a channel and you want to grow your channel, listen to this, Robert Benjamin. I will put a uh, his channel on, in the video description down below the video, Robert Benjamin. He is a YouTuber and he has, he teaches people how to build their YouTube channels. I'm sorry, it's hard to look at the lens. The lens is right over here. And it's a tiny little tiny thing. I don't like to look at it. So it looks like I'm looking off over here. I'm sorry about that. I don't like looking at this little dot. I'm sorry. I can't do it. 
Forgive me. Anyways. Robert Benjamin. Shout out. Major shout out to this guy. Um, he's got like this... He does the videos. He tells you right on his channel how to do it and what to do. Uh, how to build your channel. You know, make it, make it rock. Um, about two weeks ago, my channel was getting roughly like 1,500 views every 48 hours. And now it's getting like over 8,000. <laughs> and it's because of the shorts. And I've been uploading a lot of shorts. And what I've been doing is I've been doing these um, really quick abstract paintings. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing these really quick abstract paintings in like 20 seconds. No kidding. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? And, uh, really nice. Really pretty. Colorful. And I don't know how I picked it up, man. It's very strange. I'm just sort of doing it. What can I say? <laughs> But they're very popular. The two, the videos are very popular. I mean, they they're shorts. <laughs> and anyway, yeah. I mean, I'm just doing one after the other. Most of these, I think, all of these are have been done here in my new apartment. I've only been in here since last night. <laughs> this one, all the nights that uh, I was in that hotel in the motels and stuff. I think it was like almost a month. It was February 23rd, I think, um, to last night, yesterday. So, I don't know. It was quite a while. Um, but that whole time, I didn't have any black or white paint. None. And the reason why is because I use those colors so much. So, I keep them in quart cans. You know, I buy house paint. I use house paint. I didn't have any black or white paint, so I couldn't. You can't really paint. It's hard. You gotta use black paint, man. Anyways, I I got my stuff together here and uh, hmm, did it. Uh, had did this painting with a with a. That was wet. Oh boy, that's an interesting tool. I don't have any in I'm sorry to show it to you. But, uh, oh yeah, I do have it. Right here. Right here. Okay. All right, here it is. It's made out of silicone rubber. It's pliable. It's like this. And what I be, what I do uh, frequently is I uh, I put uh, the paint right on the edge here, and I put different colors, you know, and then I just go. You can make different things. You can go like like that and make it squiggly marks. And isn't that pretty? I mean, my God, it's gorgeous! It's just gorgeous. I just think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to have a tutorial on Wednesday on how to do that. So, anyways. Robert Benjamin, man. He's a smart guy. And I'm learning something about myself, you know, to be able to do paintings like this, you know, in seconds. I feel blessed. Let me tell you what. I most definitely feel blessed. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm going to teach you guys about that. Um, so, I think, oh, let's see. Okay, I want to talk about the homeless work. Okay. Um, you know, I actually asked Robert Benjamin about that. What do you think about me doing my homeless videos, my homeless people outreach stuff here? On my art channel and he said well you know just tie it in and it is tied in you know it really is tied in um, you know I've been homeless and a homeless artist that's what my life has been um, you know in a lot of years um, to be honest I you know I've been, I've been homeless for a long time I really don't want to say but 
14 years altogether. Um, not all that, you know, living rough. Uh, but my my work mostly is, you know, the outreach work is to people living rough. I mean, it's not... Um, these people are on the concrete. You know what I'm saying? Hardcore. Um, they don't want to stay in shelters. Shelters are dangerous places. They're not safe and they got bugs. They're loud. It's like being in a prison, really. I mean, it's just like that. Probably, I'm sure. I've never been in prison, but I'm sure it's awful. And loud and obnoxious. And that's what it's like in a shelter. Um, I did, when I was very young, I stayed in a shelter once, but I didn't like it. Um, I wouldn't do it again. I, no way. Um, and so I never did, the, you know, the entire time. But, you know, I did... I did do, uh, I shouldn't go, I don't want to go and tell all this. I'm sorry. I'm digress. Anyways. I'm sorry. It's kind of emotional stuff, but I got to do the homeless work with the art because it is a big part of it. Um, but I'm not going to stress you guys on the tutorials too much about it. I might do some fundraising videos. I'm not sure about that yet. We'll see. But to be honest with you, the money is really not a big deal. It doesn't, it doesn't make or break me with this work. I have done this work when I was homeless. I did this work the entire time I was, um, in these motels and homeless, you know, in these, this whole month. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'll do it. I can do it. I don't, um, the way I do the work is I go out and I talk to one or two people. I give them, you know, five or ten bucks each. I give them some socks, you know, some fresh, clean socks and, um, a little care package and, you know, talk with him a little bit, give him a hug. Um, you know, it's like that. It's really one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and I don't, like, I'm not out there talking to a million people. I'm like, and I know, I, I do know these people, some of them, and, uh, you know, certain areas are very transient, you know, and you don't see the same people every time, but some are regulars, you know, you see them on a regular basis, like Tim. Tim is one guy that's, Man, mucked hard times for that guy, man. He's living really rough, really, really rough. He's, you've seen him, you've seen him in some of my videos, I'm sure. Um, anyways, I gotta do that work. Uh, gotta do that work here. And, uh, I do have this Friend to the Homeless channel, um, which is the name of my organization. It's called Friend to the Homeless. Um, so, Anyways, I'll put a link to the video description for Worthy Socks slash um, dot org slash uh, Jake Folger Outreach. That's my little nonprofit uh, working with Worthy Socks dot org. Uh, Dave Josie, uh, David Josie, uh, the director of that, is a friend of mine, and we work together. Um, but you know, again, the nice thing about making a donation, even Ten cents. I'm not kidding you. You know, twenty five cents and buy a pair of socks. One pair of socks would make a homeless person very happy. I assure you. But also, doing something like that for me is so motivating. It feels so good. Like uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got I did a video, and uh, we got two donations for thirty five dollars. Uh, David wrote to both the people and thanked him. I mean, so awesome. Thank you. I don't know who you were. I don't have your names handy, and I wouldn't say your names anyways, but thank you so much. Really meant a lot to me. Really, really very uplifting. And we haven't used that money yet, but it's probably going to go towards a tent for Tim. I really want to get a tent for Tim. He's a sweet guy, man. A very sweet guy. And, you know, injured. You know, mentally not too stable, but... 
Um, living off man for since 2013, I think. Yeah. I can't share a picture or anything, you know, at this time. But he's a very nice guy, and he needs a tent and some other stuff. Uh, he definitely needs some nice comfort stuff. So, anyways. That's enough of that. But I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, um, tutorials. Oh, uh, today, an upload for a tree fairy house or a fantasy tree house, however you want to do it, call it. Um, it uploads tomorrow. It didn't survive. All my, again, all my Paul McClay sculptures did not survive this ordeal. Um, and, uh, that's uploading tomorrow at 11.15 a.m. local time. Um, and then also, uh, on next Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a tutorial with the Catalyst Wedge. So, uh, that will be up Wednesday. And, uh, it's a beautiful thing. I hope you want it. Um, and that's about it. That's your update for the week. Thank you for your support, you guys. I really do love you quite a bit. I really do. Um, and I love being a YouTuber. And, uh, I hope to be bringing you content for years to come. Have a great night. Bye.